Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is yet another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. This tutorial today though will be using the new Photoshop Elements 9 to show you a little bit of new power that they actually put into Photoshop Elements 9. Before we get started, please as always if you enjoy this video jump over to Jack's techcorner.com check out the DVD collection these are great DVDs and it'll help you along to learn Photoshop elements even more uh, so if you enjoy the show go ahead and check that out if nothing else stop by and if you're a member of Facebook just come up here on the top and click on like uh, this just helps me to see that you like the show uh, that you're excited about Photoshop elements and um, that you're actually listening to this intro <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, without further ado, we're going to move on uh, to learning this great new technique with Photoshop Elements 9. What we're going to learn today is a new feature called Out of Bounds. Now, Out of Bounds almost makes your picture look like it's a, like a 3D picture. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do so. Just take any picture you have with parts of it that you can determine that would be outside of the normal inside picture. And I'll show you how we're doing that so you can make that determination. What you're going to do under Edit, Guided Edit, we're going to simply go down here to where it says Out of Bounds and click on that. The first thing it's going to tell you to do here is click on Add a Frame. Let's go ahead and add a frame. And there we go. Now you can pull this frame around. And what I thought I would do with this picture is pull this down below the surfboard. Then what I want outside of my shot is going to be this head right here, this person's head, and the arm. That's going to be outside the picture. Everything else here will be inside the picture. So it looks like he's coming at you and he's got his arm outside the picture. Once you have your primary frame set up, to what's inside the picture. Click the check mark or hit the enter key. And now what's going to happen is it's going to want a border. Just give it a little border. It doesn't have to be too wide. Just to get the effect. But try to make it as equal as you can on all four sides. Just like so. Once you get that done, all you got to do is click the check box again. Now you're going to see the whole picture once again. At this point, if you come over here, if you read through here, it's going to tell you how to set your frame up. Then come down and you want to pick out the Quick Selection tool. Let's go ahead and grab the Quick Selection tool. And now start your selection inside the main picture and work your way out to what you want to show in your final picture. So we're going to go out here. We're going to select his head. All right, we're going to select his arm. his hand just like so now we have all the selected uh, let's select this little bit of blue here on his back just to kind of make it look more complete alright once you have everything selected like I said you started inside the main picture and you're working your way out to what you want to keep simply come over here you want to slide back down here and click on create out of bounds then elements figures out what you want to do and now you have a picture that looks like he's coming outside of the main shot it's a really nice effect and when you go to print this you can actually print the whole thing here so it's a really nice effect how this is laid out now you can add a shadow to your image uh, for some depth you can add a large shadow small or medium so I should just click on these and try it out. You can see now where there's a little bit of shadow around the picture here. If you don't like it, just simply click undo and go ahead and try the large one. And the large looks pretty good. You can see where the shadow is around his arms, around his head. So it looks really nice. With that, you can add a gradient just to give us some more depth on the background. And you can pick out whatever kind of gradient you might want. 
There's a black gradient. Here's some color if you want some more uh, color in the background. We're going to kind of leave it like that. It kind of looks like the sun uh, is behind him. And there you go. There's a very nice uh, demonstration of a very easy tool to use. And it is called the Out of Bound Effects. And once again, folks, this is in Photoshop Elements 9. Uh, the new Photoshop Elements 9, under Guided Edit, it's uh, Create Out of Bounds. Now remember, folks, if you enjoyed this, please stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com, and check out the DVD collection. I'm sure you'll be very, uh, really impressed, as many others before you have. So until next time, remember, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.